Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about life and celebrations of ethnic groups in Sarawak. Let's get right into it. The first ethnic group we are looking at are the Bidayu people. The name Bidayu means inhabitants of land. Once a year, the Bidayu will join other Dayaks or Sarawak indigenous to celebrate Gawai. Each ethnic group has their own style of celebrating Gawai and the Bidayu has their own music and musical instrument that they play. As usual, during celebrations, people will serve and consume alcohol and the Bidayu drink tua. The Bidayu music is all about festivity and celebration and their dance, Rejambeu, is about happiness and togetherness during gatherings. Next, we are going to look at the Melanau people of Sarawak and the Kaul Ceremony. The Kaul Ceremony is held annually in April during the Melanau's Bulan Pengejin, meaning the Month of the Spirits, according to the Melanau calendar. The Kaul is a ceremony and celebration to give thanks and to appease the spirits called Ipo for cleansing of bad luck and better harvest next season. The father of the Kaul would sing and chant to start the Kaul. Then, they would celebrate the Ipo in a grand feast where all the people would bring with them food and drink to eat at a huge picnic by the river mouth and the beaches. The Melanau will also play a traditional game called Tibo, and it is believed that you don't only play with humans but also with spirits. Have you ever tried Sarawak black pepper? They're the best black pepper in the world. Sarawak black pepper were first cultivated by the Ibans of Sarawak for taste and medication. The Iban traditionally rely on the forests and rivers to sustain their life and they know what plants and insects that are edible or poisonous. Like many other ethnics of the jungle, most of their traditional food are bamboo-based and unlike their West Malaysian counterparts, their cooking uses no coconut milk. Yeah! Tattooing is part of Iban culture. In the past, tattoos were worn as protection from evil spirits and to identify your warrior status or tribal group. It was very important to the Iban man to show strength as a form of self-protection like this dance showing skill and strength of an Iban man raising a wooden mortar with his mouth. The Orang Ulu are from the deepest part of Sarawak and the minority ethnic consisting around 27 tribal groups with their own rich culture and lifestyle. One of the Orang Ulu tradition is keeping long ears as a symbol of beauty and status. In the old days, men will keep their long ears above the shoulders and women past their shoulders. Orang Ulu who have yet to migrate to the cities still rely heavily on the forest to sustain them because transporting food and other resources from the outside is very costly. Once every two years, the Orang Ulu will gather to celebrate Apau Koyan to showcase and keep their traditions and cultural identity alive. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching.